the sweetest Christmas. One snowy Christmas Eve, Winnie the Pooh looked up and down, in and out, and all around his house. He had a tree set up in his living room. It was decorated with some candles and honey pots. Pooh looked at the tree and tapped his head. Something seems to be missing, he said. He walked over to the window and peered outside. Then he walked back to the tree and thought some more. Suddenly, a knocking sound startled Pooh. Rap-a-tap-tap. He turned toward his front door. Maybe whatever it is I can't remember I'm missing is outside my door, Pooh said. When Pooh opened his door, he found a small snowman on his front step. Hello, Pooh Bear, the snowman said as he shivered. Pooh thought the voice sounded very familiar. He invited the snowman inside. After standing beside the fire for a few minutes, the snowman began to melt. The more he melted, the more he started to look like Piglet. Oh my, said Pooh. He was happy to see his friend where there used to be a snowman. Oh my, said Piglet. Now that the snow had melted off of him, he could see Pooh's glowing Christmas tree. Are you going to string popcorn for your tree? Piglet asked. There was popcorn and string, Pooh admitted, but now there is only string. Pooh thought some more, wondering if popcorn was what he had forgotten, but that wasn't it either. Then we can use the string to wrap the presents you're giving, Piglet said. Something began to tickle at Pooh's brain. It was the something missing that he hadn't been able to remember. I forgot to get presents, Pooh exclaimed. Don't worry, Pooh, Piglet said. I'm sure you'll think of something. Soon it was time for Piglet to go home and wrap his own presents. He said goodbye to his friend and went back out into the cold, snowy night. Pooh stood beside his tree and tapped his head while he thought. Where could he find presents for his friends? It was already Christmas Eve. Was it too late? He thought some more. He sat down in his cozy chair. Then he got up and he had a small snack of honey. He peered out the window and watched the snow fall. Then he had an idea. He still didn't know what to do about the presents he'd forgotten, but he knew where to find help. Hello, Pooh called as he knocked on Christopher Robin's door. Christopher Robin opened the door and smiled when he saw the visitor. Come in, Pooh Bear, he said. Merry Christmas. Why do you look so sad on the most wonderful night of the year? Pooh was just about to explain about the forgotten present when something caught his eye. He pointed at the stockings over the fireplace. What are those for, he asked. Those are stockings to hold Christmas presents, explained Christopher Robin. But Christopher Robin, Pooh said, what if someone forgot to find presents for his friends? And what if that same someone doesn't have stockings to hang because he doesn't wear any? Pooh looked down at his bare feet, then back up at Christopher Robin. Silly old bear, Christopher Robin said. He took Pooh up to his room. They dug through his drawers until Pooh found seven stockings. Thank you, Christopher Robin, Pooh said. He smiled. He picked a stocking for each of his friends to put their presents in. Purple for Piglet, red and white striped for Tigger, orange for Rabbit, yellow for Eeyore, maroon for Gopher, and blue for Owl and one for him to hang over his fireplace. He hurried off to deliver the stockings to his friends. As he walked through the hundred acre wood, he thought about the presents he still needed for their stockings. I will get the presents later, Pooh said to himself. The stockings come first. Pooh stopped at each of his friend's houses. Everyone was asleep. He quietly hung the stockings where his friends would find them. Each one had a tag that read, from Pooh. When Pooh got back to his house, he climbed into his cozy chair in front of a roaring fire. Now I must think about presents for my friends, he said. But Pooh was tired from finding the stockings and delivering them to his friends' houses. Before he knew it, his thinking turned into dreaming. He was fast asleep. The next morning, Pooh awoke to a loud thumping noise. Thump a bump bump. I wonder who that could be, he said. He climbed out of his chair and opened the door. Merry Christmas, Pooh, his friends cried. There on Pooh's doorstep stood Tigger, Rabbit, Piglet, Owl, Eeyore, and Gopher. They were each carrying a stocking from Pooh. Pooh scratched his head. All of a sudden, he remembered what had happened the night before. He had fallen asleep before giving presents to his friends. Oh, bother, he said. Then he realized that his friends were all talking at once. They were thanking him for their gifts. No more cold ears in the winter with my new cap, Piglet said. My stripedy sleeping bag is terrific, exclaimed Tigger. So this is my new carrot cover, Rabbit said. This rock collecting bag will sure make work go faster, Gopher said. Eeyore swished his tail to show Pooh his new tail warmer. No one's ever given me such a useful gift before, he said. Owl told Pooh his new windsock would help him with the day's weather report. Pooh looked at his friends. They were very happy with their stockings, even though there weren't any presents in them. Something very nice is going on, Pooh said. It is very nice, Pooh Bear, Piglet said. It's called Christmas, Buddy Bear, Tigger said. He patted Pooh on the back. 
Then Pooh watched in surprise as each of his friends put a honey pot in Pooh's own stocking. I don't know what to say, Pooh told his friends. He was thrilled by their gifts. Honey was his favorite treat. Christmas is a wonderful holiday, Rabbit said, especially when you have good friends to share it with. Yep, Tigger agreed, but I know how we can make the day even sweeter. He looked at the honey pot in Pooh's hands. An idea tickled at Pooh's brain. Let's all have lunch together, Pooh said. He passed out the honey pots his friends had just brought him. Christmas, what a sweet day indeed.